gays and scouts. I have a slight issue with this issue. For one thing, their ban on allowing people based on sexuality to be part of it is not inherently wrong, as much as I hate to admit this. Now, I know you're all thinking that I decided to go with the bigots on this issue for some reason. Well, I'm not, so please hear me out. Honestly, I don't think it's ethically right for them to ban homosexual people. However, unless they get government funding, it is technically legal to do so. They are a club and not a business, so therefore it's not entirely bound by the same anti-discrimination laws. But my issue with this issue goes a bit more into it. Several problems I have are with the scout organizations as a whole. Personally, I don't see their structure as beneficial, and it's a very sexist in so many ways. Yeah, I'm a feminist. What do you expect? The Boy Scouts are teaching boys to be what people consider stereotypical boys, and Girl Scouts are teaching girls to be stereotypical girls. But we know that this can create a huge problem in the child's personality construct. If the child is not a stereotypical boy or girl, then they find such activities very disconcerting and even detrimental to their mental state. So as a whole, we have a serious problem with the basic structure of the scouting organizations, which should be addressed first. Personally, I would like to see the organizations completely dissolve their sexual segregation practices as a whole. Just focus on the survival and nature activities they are good at teaching. Even embrace natural sciences and incorporate those into their activities. So now we come back around to the homosexual issue. Why should gay people be encouraged to engage in organizations that are clearly aimed at dividing activities into feminine and masculine aspects anyway? From what I have witnessed, homosexuals are the greatest monuments to how our species is ditching the dichotomy of gender and sexuality gaining strength by blurring the line between feminine and masculine. As some of you probably noticed, I'm not keen on gender boundaries at all. I tend to sit somewhere between them. I'm a huge fan of fishing and camping, but also love to knit and cook. To me, there is no inherent label of activities being male or female, so I cannot understand why anyone else would think so. In ages before modern technology, even before houses were built, humanity needed to divide chores up based on gender as a survival mode. But we are beyond that now. So what do I propose to solve this? Simple, start a new organization, one that is not bound by either gender, stereotypes, or sexual identity. Move forward and allow the old and archaic ones that do not wish to evolve to be replaced by more adaptive and stronger groups and organizations. Embrace what capitalism really means. You do have the power to change the future, but only if you are willing to put in the effort and do not fear the change itself. Jump in with both feet and start up a new and better organization instead of spending resources to fight battles that will take decades. Sometimes it is better to build anew instead of remodel what has stood for ages.